The Paper Picker Press has um, a context in the initiative that we direct at Harvard called Cultural Agents. And its mission is to make more visible and to multiply the ways that arts and the humanities, that is interpretation of the arts, are enormous contributions to society. The Paper Picker Press was developed by very young, 22, 23-year-old uh, students in Lima. They call their project LUMPA, which is um, the name Libros Un Modelo Para Armar, a construction kit. They developed LUMPA because um, they saw a, an initiative in Buenos Aires that they wanted to replicate in Lima. And the initiative that, um, that interests us now is called Eloisa Cartoneda, uh, Eloisa the Cardboard Picker. And it's the name of an informal publishing house, a storefront that began to buy cardboard from cardboard pickers who filled the city because of the crisis and bought the cardboard at a much higher rate than people were getting at the recycling plants. And slowly those same cardboard pickers, garbage pickers, were incorporated into the workshop to make books. Each book is made from recycled cardboard, individually decorated, and the literary material inside the book is donated by the best writers in Latin America. The book is raw material because it's obviously recycled material, just like the cardboard. Books are made of words that have been used in different contexts. They're made with stories borrowed from different authors. They're made with real events, with fantasies that are shared. And to teach that books are recycled and recyclable material is a liberation for students that we haven't seen before. And after a student has written a book three or four times from an original, that book doesn't belong to the original author anymore, it belongs to the student. They develop authorship, ownership, mastery, and we realized that it was very easy to teach what we had struggled to teach before, which is that reading is an activity. For just an afternoon, about four hours, we learned to make books and to interpret books creatively. We launched a pilot of an American version of the Cartonera, which we call the Paper Picker Press, in honor of the paper pickers who initiated this program in Buenos Aires. And we had a wonderful pilot summer where we developed the Paper Picker Press beyond what Sarita does. Now we use local artists as the main educators for literacy, because it's very clear that one art interprets others. You can paint a story, dance a story, act a story, make music. Whatever art and artist are available and want to work productively and courageously with children, get hired now by the Paper Picker Press to work in Boston schools. We uh, were fortunate to be promoted by the Harvard After School Initiative. Six schools adopted the program for the academic year 2007-2008 and we're just finishing up um, the last programs with uh, an amazing uh, level of success. Children have learned to play with reading and writing as if it were another game. We want to take a lesson from Augusto Boal and multiply the number of facilitators whom we can train and who can train others. The guidelines for what we consider to be a legitimate branch for the Paper Picker Press are on our website. To learn more about the Paper Picker Press and about cultural agents in general, you can log on to culturalagents.org and find programs, go to Paper Picker Press, and we'd be more than happy to work with you.